Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Pits of Metal Chaos. It's your host, Dave. I got a line. Special guest back on the show for the second time. Paul Allender, guitarist Dia Morte. How you doing, Paul? Yeah, good. How you doing, man? Good. So, tell us about Dia Morte. Um, I've just joined them. Um, so, yeah, I know what actually attracted me to the band. But they're not really a band as such, to be honest. Um, it's more of a full production. Um, so what actually attracted me to it, and when they, or especially when Drake, the front man, asked me to join, um, the reason why I agreed to it, because it's not a normal band. You know, it's not just jump up on stage and just play. Um, it's a full, it's, it's actually a full opera production. You know, and so it's, there's a lot more to it. The, the music and the, the, the playing side of it is just a really, really small, small part of it. You know, um, so, and then there's a much bigger picture to it. And that's one reason why I agreed to, uh, to, uh, to join. Um, because there's it, it, not so much of a huge touring aspect to it either. They're more like two shows once the shows are uh, up and running, um, which is really good. Um, I don't know, I just, I just thought it was awesome. When the, just Drake sent me the album and he says, have a listen to this, what do you think? And it was, I thought it was fucking fantastic, to be honest. Um, and I must admit, because I took some time out of music for a few years, um, and I didn't listen to anything, I didn't touch my guitar, I didn't do anything. And, um, and then once I heard this, I was like, fuck, this is great. You know, and that, and that really inspired me to get playing again. Um, but yeah, so... When, then when he said, you know, uh, do you want to be part of it? I went absolutely hell yes. You know, so but it's it's really cool. It's 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 once the space, once everything's been put together, the whole production's together and everything else. Um, I highly advise people to come and see it because it's going to be phenomenal. So now the the project was put together by Drake, right? Yeah, yeah, it's his yeah, it's his outfit. And that was Drake that asked me to join. Now, who else you got in the band? You got. Mike uh, Lapan, right? Yep. Michael. Yep. Mike, yep. I'm, I'm, yep. Sorry, go on. Michael Romeo too. Yep. And then who are the rest of the people that are? I know you got a couple of singers besides Drake. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. There's um, there's a male opera singer. There's like a couple of female opera singers in there. To be honest, I haven't actually met anyone just yet. Um, I'm actually going up to Chicago in two weeks to um meet everyone that I can who resides in Chicago because there's some people that live there. Um, so I'm going to go up there um, and hang out with Drake for a few days, um, work on the band, work on the production, um, and then just meet who I can, really, out of the, out of the band, you know. Um, so, so, yeah, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good to finally get back into something again um, and really like, give it my all, you know. Now, before you joined, they put out the Red Opera in uh, November of last year, right? Yeah. And now you're going to record some new stuff with the band? Yeah, Drake's already started sending me um, his sort of things like orchestral ideas that he's been doing. Um, and then also, I've been like, since I've been like, practicing like crazy again, um, I've already started coming up with some ideas for, for this orche- orchestral pieces. Uh, and everything else. So, yeah, so I'm in the middle of um, getting my studio back up and running. But once that's up and running properly, um, I'll start contributing to all the orchestration and everything. Um, so we really put that super dark stamp on everything, which is dark already, but I can't wait to give it a bit more of a twist. Mm. Well, that's good to see you back into the music again. Yeah, it feels good, you know, because um, I think I took um, three years I think it was out to do, do a cyber security degree. Um, so I just wanted to do something which was totally not musical in play at all in the slightest. I needed that break. Which I'm glad because that break has actually given me a whole new lease of life. And, um, which is, to be honest, is exactly what I need. So if anyone feels their style in whatever they do musically, just take a break from it. Just forget about it. Just, just really distance yourself from everything. And do something completely different because I can guarantee you once you come back, you know, it'll be like you've just been reborn again. Yeah, I know. I, I interviewed uh, Jeremy 
Jeremy from White Embers recently said the band is not finished. You're just on a break, like a hiatus for White Embers. No, it is, yeah. Yep, it totally is. Um, I'm still with White Embers. Um, the, 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 the guys that I got together for when I did the Revenant video, um, we're, we're talking, we're still in, we're really still making pops and everything as well for that. Um, so for that, what we're doing, we're going to um, shoot a full-length film for it in the same style as um, what Revenant was like. But this time, because um, I'm a bit of a, to be honest, I'm a bit of a color grading geek when it comes to color grading and film and video and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write in a, a particular way where it's, it, it's really menacing. Um, excuse me, but yeah, so that'll be, that'll be good. I really can't wait for that. I know Keith, one of the camera guys, he's, um, he actually made a bunch of props. And so what, he made some props and some blade, bladed weapons and stuff. Not so much for fighting and scenes or anything, but more for like sacrificial type stuff. And he, he made them, and I think, so far, they've, they've been buried. Buried for like the last year and a half in his back garden, so we can get them really, really grubby and rotten and everything else. So, so they look like, you know, for when we start suddenly using those, these uh, sacrificial like, blades and stuff, you know. Yeah, it sounds cool. So now, you have, you, do you have anything else going on with the uh, music? Any other band projects or anything? Oh my goodness, no, that's enough. <laughs> 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 I, can't, I, I can't see how anyone can do like four, four bands. You know, when I was in Cradle, it was like that was I didn't have time for anything else. Now I'm doing like you know, why? Because he's been putting a bit of a like back blown up just while I was sorting the film and stuff out and now we're in there more day and this one things full on so we've got like the two bands going at the moment um we've got to turn one at the moment to get it to get it where I want it to get what you want it, where ideally visually I want it to be and then once I get to that point then I'll work on the other one and get it to where I visually want it to be you know um but yeah I can't see how the hell anyone can do like three that and that's just and, like, and try and write different material for each three bands where they're all sounding the same. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's, that's, that's freaking superpowers, that is. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we ever, we ever put on any, like, uh, Paul Allender, like, solo comp- composition music or anything? Uh, no, no, I'm not really one of the, I, I mean, it would be cool. It would be cool just to do stuff, but to be honest, the ideas that I have um, for music and for orchestration and like the horror side of stuff, I would rather put it into a band instead of just my own, own thing, you know? Because if I just did my thing, I feel like it's a little bit wasted. I'd rather get like a, a full like, production behind it and those type of ideas. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'd ever do like, my own solo like stuff. It's just weird to me. Um, I'd rather do it with a, with a, I'd rather put all my I do some other things with, with a, lot, a group of people. Because I like actually bouncing ideas off of groups of people, you know, and um, then that way you, you get some really cool, like, surprising ideas you, you think you're playing particular with. You'd be like, hang on a second, um, I've never thought of it going that way, the things you've played that way, that's freaking shit, those better. We'll, we'll use that, you know. Um, that's why when I was playing with, uh, in my episode, Jeremy, you know, he, he came with some, some freaking awesome stuff. To, like for 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 what Empress and Revenant as well, you know. It's like Revenant, yeah, so it's just one of the bounce ideas. I prefer bounce ideas off people. And then uh and then then it's the collective which actually moulds the sound, which which is like a serious like, high point for me, it's awesome. Now in your spare, in your spare time do you uh give guitar lessons or anything? Um, funny you used to say that. <laughs> I've actually, well, I've started doing, once I've got my tops back up to where they were, um, I'm going to start um, going out doing session playing and giving guitar lessons again. Um, so, yeah, so that's on, that's actually, and I do that, I'm going to uh, put into play um, once I've got to my, my ability again to where I want it to be. Because mm. um, so I'm practicing like crazy at the moment, um, to the point where I'm getting like, all the blessings and my fingers. But that's fine, 
Now, as far as uh, Dia Morte for uh, new material, when are when is you guys looking to release new material what, about this year, next year? When is it going to be released? Um, no idea right now, to be honest with you. Um, so at the moment, we're putting together our first bit of space life. Um, searching, like, look, putting servers out for management and stuff, if you like. You know, um, it's, it's, everything's been, everything with the burn's been, like, not stuff about 10 years. You know, it's kind of been put in a hyperdrive at the moment. And um, so, all of this all started coming out of like this for the new material. And once we get, once we're a little bit more um, evened out on everything we're doing at the moment, then we can really start the line again. I'm hoping it's going to be, I mean, it's, what's to be honest, the way the type of band is, you know, we could easily go out and the show we've got planned um, for this album, we could quite easily go out and do the same thing uh, for two years. Because it's, cause it's an opera, it's a proper performance. So we could quite easily go and play that and then get two years worth of playing out of it. You know, because we're not playing, we're not touring like a normal touring back. We're just playing select cities and select venues. It's not big enough to hold the opera. Um, so, yeah, so, so I don't know. Uh, everybody will find out when they're ready to release new stuff. Um, everyone will, uh, will get to know and hear about it pretty much. Yeah, I imagine when when you do when you do do some shows, they'd be like real big theatrical production on stage. Oh yes, it's a show opera. It'll be cold as hell. Like 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 vampire stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's it's like a it's, 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 well, I, I hate to actually pigeonhole stuff, and I don't like doing it at all. It's a really well, I, I, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's like a really dark sort of like. Atmosphere depraved, like, uh, like seeing the scenario, you know. And um, vampire, you could say that, ghost, you could say that, but that's a, but nowadays that's really broad terms now. Um, just think of, uh, I don't know, there's just something. Well, I think it's just it's, it's like, uh, if you're going to see a band. If you actually see a school opera, if, you, if, you, if anyone ever seen an opera, just imagine that, but with metal music, um, going down like a gothic route, you know, um, which is really dark and absolutely suitable totally for Halloween. <laughs> it's, I'm really looking forward to it, though. It's going to be awesome. Probably do a lot of... Uh... Clothing changes during the uh, opera too, right? Yeah, there'll be costume changes. There'll be a lot of it, you know. And each each of the band members as well, we've all got our own piece in it as well as playing. Um. So yeah, so it's it's a proper full stage show. It's proper full on. You get the crowd interacting with it. The crowd becomes part of it as well. You know, um, just some stuff for weird ideas and stuff we've got going on, which is out in that area of the audience. Yeah, so it's like, it's a full, the, the, the whole audience is completely immersed in everything we're doing on stage. Wow, I, got, I can't wait, I can't wait to see it, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. yeah, dude, I can't wait to be out there, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be, as soon as shit is almost fine now, I'll really, I can feel it now, just thinking about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna. I'm sure this, this is gonna totally yeah, take people on a, on a journey when they see the when the live show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, the the music is just a tiny part of it. It's the live show is where Dear Morte is at. You know, that's that's the live show is Dear Morte basically. You know, um, they've got yeah, obviously the music's killer as well, and you can hear the what the music's like and stuff. Obviously, but it's like. But once you're in there and you see the whole experience and feel and smell and taste the whole experience, then you're going to go, holy shit, this is exactly what it's about. Hmm. So now the new music's going to be like a continuation of the first, you know, the first episode? That, that possibly. Um, I'm leaving it up to Drake. Because um, he's, he's the mastermind behind all of it. Um, yeah, so I'm leaving that up to Drake. So, but he's, I mean, I talk to him on a daily basis, and he goes to me for advice all the time. 
Um, so, yeah, and I'm always putting ideas across. And, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to work with someone who's on exactly the same like, wavelength as such. We, we think exactly the same, which is really quite spooky. Um, so, uh, it's just to the point where, without the sound of weird, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain it something, you will do something and go, yep, yes, yes, and like, how the hell did you know? Like, right, whatever, that's cool. You know, so, yeah, we ended up, we think exactly the same, which is great. Yeah, I should I should have set up the interview with uh, with Drake and you both on, and we could have got more in, in, input from Drake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how you can do that. You can always um, set, set, set another interview up with him. Yeah. He's all up for, like, um, obviously talking about it and, and you know, explaining what it's all about. So, yeah, you could quite easily set up a, an interview with him. Um, I can talk to you about it after this, and I can arrange it with Drake, and then, then yeah, then go for it. Yeah. So yeah, I got I got a couple of the uh, songs from the first recording. I got the to play, but when we're done talking, I got uh, the title track "Diamorte" to play, and I have uh, the "Everlasting Night" to both of those songs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 They're absolutely phenomenal tracks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 yeah, yep. Yeah. You have anything else to talk about, Paul, or have we covered everything pretty much? I've um, pretty much covered everything, you know. Um, yeah, no, there's not much else. It's a lot. Everything I'm doing at the moment, it's it's all, it's everything's on doable right at the moment. You know, um, it's I do it personally for myself. I do a lot of uh, graphic stuff still. Okay, that sounds awesome. Well, thank you for taking time to uh, talk to me today. And when one Empress White Empress is ready, we'll do another White Empress interview, of course. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. So, so anybody tuned in right now, we'll play a couple of songs for you, so you can get a feel of uh, Dia Morte. And uh, thanks again, Paul. Absolute pleasure, my man. Absolute pleasure. And I hope you have a great night. You too. You take care. Okay. Bye bye.